Alright, so today we are going to write an equation for a line that's being described here. It says write an equation for the line with a slope of 2 that goes to the point 3, 1. Show your work. Alright, so we are used to writing equations for lines when we're given the slope and the y-intercept because we know the general equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. And in this case, we do know the slope. The slope's 2, so we know the equation's going to be y equals 2x plus but the y-intercept, we do not know. So that's the one thing we don't know in this problem. So the eventual equation is going to be y equals 2x plus something. The question is, what is that something? So to figure that out, we are going to use the information they gave us and set up an algebra equation to figure out that y-intercept. And here's how we're going to do that. We're going to use y equals mx plus b. We know slope of 2 is our m, so that's going to go there. And we know the line goes through this point 3, 1. In this point, 3 is my x coordinate and 1 is my y coordinate. We're going to use those two values for x and y and put them into this equation over here. All right? So since y is 1, I'm going to replace this y with a 1. And the m we already said was a 2. The x we're going to replace with the 3 because 3 is x here. And this is multiplied, because they're multiplied next to each other, plus b. And the b is the one thing we don't know, and that stands for our y-intercept. So if we can solve this equation, we can figure out the y-intercept. All right, so before I solve it, let's simplify this a bit. 2 times 3 is 6. So this is really y equals 6 plus b. Okay, so to solve for b, I'm going to subtract 6 off both sides of the equal sign. The 6s undo each other. I end up getting b by itself equals 1 minus 6 is negative 5. That's my y-intercept. So my final answer, my final equation, I guess you could say, is y equals 2x plus negative 5. All right, so because it gave us the slope, we knew half the equation, but we had to use algebra to figure out what the y-intercept was. Once we got it, we put it into that equation and find our final answer. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Also, it really helps us out when you subscribe. But with that being said, good job today, and I will see you next time.